Christmas trees get really light when all of the water's gone out of them. I can't do this with a new Christmas tree. Hercules, Hercules. In today's video, we're gonna see how long it takes an extra dry Christmas tree to burn and if we can make that go even faster. This is my Christmas tree from 2019. I like to get the, the actual trees because they smell good. And after Christmas, I took it out of my house and uh, left it in the yard until yesterday <laughs> when we loaded it up into a truck it's to May drive up 14th. here. It's May 14th. It is, to us, when we're filming this. We're mm -hmm. on a bit of a delay, so by the time you're watching this, it's probably been another three, four weeks and almost as far away from Christmas as you can get from both directions. Here's the basic idea. I've been letting a Christmas tree dry for about six months, so it should be nice and flammable. We're going to test how quickly a Christmas tree can go up in flames if you don't get it out of your house before it dies. There you go. So this tree has been outside uh, and just drying off for months. And as Callie is demonstrating, it's very dry. You can basically turn the pine needles into dust. Yeah. And I'm expecting it's quite flammable. Mm -hmm. And that's actually what we want to test out. Uh, there are warnings that you should not let your Christmas tree dry out in your house because it becomes a fire risk. Technically, anything is a fire hazard if you try hard enough. So the idea is that like if you, know, if you have this extra dry tree in your house, maybe you have weird shaped windows that concentrate a spot of sunlight, or you have a short, you left your Christmas tree lights on, there's a short in the wire because you left them up for so long, and it sparks just a little bit, and it doesn't take much to set off one of these needles, and once one of them is going, I think that's probably all it takes to get the whole tree going. So we're going to get, what are you doing? Playing. So we're going to set up a lot of cameras and we want to time how long it takes for this entire tree to go up in flames and you know what counts as entirely engulfed in flames and what is all burned up. We, we can just keep a running clock going so you can see like oh after one second it's this much, ten seconds it's this much, two minutes is there anything left uh, and we are doing this in our very non-flammable concrete dome with dirt floors. Guys I'm going to be entirely honest I didn't know that was what the video was about today. All I, just, I heard I was just Christmas told her, tree, fire, fire. burning, <laughs> she was on board, it worked great. I was just like, I'll be there, tell me what time! So Callie's gonna stand over here, away from the tree a little bit. Callie's gonna stand over here, away from the tree, there it is. <laughs> She's gonna light this. I'm gonna set this down near the base of the tree. Oh, okay. And then we're going to uh, skedaddle a little bit, because I suspect this room will fill with smoke very I'm sorry, we, we're... Skedaddle. To, to we're hurriedly to exit. Skedaddle. One more time. Skedaddle. For the to camera, please. Skedaddle. To hurriedly exit. It's, I don't know how this is hard. It doesn't have to be an exit. It could just be an egress. Can a, I mosey? A hurried egress. No, mosey is not nearly speedy enough. We need <laughs> hurried egress. That is a skedaddle. Good. Good. Oh, and it's like popping and sizzling yep. quite a bit. Believe it or not, I don't actually want to hurt Nate. Oh, Three, neat. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's about 10 seconds in right there. Your house is in trouble. That's like 10 feet up. Oh, that's way more than 10. You're looking at almost 25, 30 there. Burn, baby! Burn! I didn't abscond. That it's is very licking warm. the ceiling. It's very warm. Oh! That is now touched the ceiling in there. It's now too warm for me and also there is a bit of a concern. I don't want it to tip over on me. I also don't want any extra sap that may still be in the tree to pop and hit me. ember pine needles falling down on you. It is raining embers in that room. That's so pretty. That does look very, very cool. It does. And by cool, I mean exceedingly I hot. would say that was less than a minute. Oh, within 30 seconds, your house was in serious trouble of just all burning up. Yeah, your living room is up in flames. And look at that just orange rain in the air. Yeah. Like, like oh, it's, that's beautiful. I feel like we could get close to the tree now, but I'm gonna wait until the... Uh... It just stops raining soot and embers. Guys, don't let your trees dry out. Come on. Also, the black trunk with the white branches. And the orange glow on that it. That is gorgeous. Fortunately, we do have a spark arrester at the top of this dome. That should make sure that none of the burning pine needles were able to get out should just get stopped by that steel mesh we have at the top. Safety first. I stood here for a few seconds because 
it was cool, but it became too warm for me to stand that close. It became Still unbearably very hot. Right yes, but also if you take a look at this, the branches that have survived are red hot. That's how hot your Christmas tree is now. Wow. Guys, keep your Christmas trees watered and uh, once you're finished with them, get rid of them before they dry out too much. Unless they are uh, fake Christmas trees, in which case don't water them, your family might be upset if you do that. Well, that was a lot of fun, but uh, this is actually my Christmas tree from 2018. So this one is about a year and a half old. That one's six months, this one's about 18 months. I don't think it's actually any drier. Uh, it is slightly browner, so maybe it might have been just a slightly different kind of Christmas tree or just discolored more. But that was pretty great. So we got that whole tree to go up just within 10 seconds. We had 15 foot flames. It was well engulfed. And if you haven't been in your house, your house will be in real trouble. But we think we can do better. We think we can get it to burn even faster. So we've got this second backup tree. We're gonna try and speed up the process. So we just mixed up our first batch of thermite. This is 22 ounces of it uh, by weight. So I'm just gonna go and mix this up. I will hand it to Nate. He will apply it carefully, then we'll make some more. This is a Christmas ornament. I figured it's appropriate. And we're gonna try and fill it with thermite. Thermite, as you may know, is mostly iron. And once it lights, it has a tendency to burn its way through a lot of things. And at that point, what you have is thousands of degree hot molten iron. 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit. 4,000 Fahrenheit. Molten metal likes to just pour down over stuff. So this time we're actually gonna have this ornament up near the top. We're going to light it and hopefully all of that thermite will burn through the ornament, which is, this is a plastic one, and then pour down through the tree, lighting everything on fire as it goes. These are instructions for the uh, butterball turkey that we deep fried here not too long ago. Yeah. Good thing that we have this place, otherwise I would probably be wanted for, you know, arson. All right, we have a Christmas ornament, mostly full of thermite. We have a sparkler sticking down into the Christmas ornament. Let's go place this on the tree. Now, Callie has added some very nice sparklers all around the tree which I, I hope will burn and add some nice spark. But, you know, I think our tree needs some flocking. Um, normally that's done with white, so it looks like snow, but we've got this rust-colored flocking that I really think is gonna do well. I'm pouring it around the ornament so that when the ornament lights and all of that thermite floods down, it will find more thermite on its journey to the floor. We've got our tree nice and set up and covered in thermite. My hands are covered in thermite a little bit. But before we light that off, we want to take a quick look at something like a year or so ago. Longer. We had a video where we did some a stuff with spray not paint. Not quite a year and a half. Something like that. And uh, we sprayed just several whole cans of spray paint into a bowl. My hands had never been so cold in my life. Oh, those cans get cold as you spray them out. Um, and the bowl is still here. Take a look at it. So we want to take a look at that bowl and give an update on that spray paint. Pot, not really a bowl, pot. It is, it's a metal pot, you're right. Well, here <laughs> is our pot, here is our paint. It's, Are you uh, sure? Thick, rubbery, <laughs> oh, you're- I ripped through it! You found liquidish paint on the bottom. So it smells like paint. Yeah, it's it does. It's been over a year. Um, you can see on the side, like all of these starting at about here, that's where we just let it sit. Uh -huh. All of this has just evaporated out. Oh, <sighs> look how thin that layer is considering how long it sat there. But look how much has evaporated away. That is true, which is why it's so thick now. And like it holds Can its shape pretty layer? well too. It's not as rubbery. It's much stickier. Oh no. So there you go. If only I had something to wipe it off on. Spot of, pot of spray paint. Should we go light a Christmas tree on fire? Let's light a Christmas tree on fire. Light a Christmas tree on fire. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> 
Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. Yes, good. Yes, oh, that's too warm to be anywhere in the dome. Oh my. I see a whole lot of sparkling going on in that tree right now. Yes, good, I put sparklers in it. It's been 30 seconds since the thermite ignited. <laughs> uh, pro tip, don't decorate your Christmas tree with uh, thermite. Or sparklers. Woo! Oh, pockets of thermite catching. <sighs> yeah, I knew the sparklers were a good idea. Look at that, look how cool that looks. One minute, yeah, that's pockets of thermite. Yes, good. So I don't know if they made it burn faster, but it's cool. Minute and a half. That's like you walked into the kitchen to microwave a hot pocket, and then before your hot pocket finished, your entire house was burned down. That makes me so happy. Good idea, good idea. Guys, that's it for today, but you should hit that button right there to subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on a cool video, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.